Welcome to She Coaches Coaches. I'm your host, Candy Motzek, and I'm going to help you find the clarity, confidence, and courage to become the coach that you are meant to be. If you're a new coach, or if you've always wanted to be a life coach, then this is the place for you. We're going to talk all about mindset and strategies and how to, because step by step only works when you have the clarity, courage, and confidence to take action. Let's get started. Hey friends, welcome to episode one of She Coaches Coaches. I'm Candy Motzek. Let's get started. Hey, I am so glad to be recording this first episode. I'm here because I love coaching and I love coaches. I think coaches are a powerful force for good in the world, and I want to do everything I can to support you, to grow, and to help you become the most successful and fulfilled coach you can be. This is for new and aspiring coaches, and I want to be really clear when I say become successful. I mean, whatever makes you feel successful. Some of you may want a million dollar business. That's great. If that's what you want, super. But some of you might define successful as a steady stream of five one-on-one clients and have a wait list. Whichever end of the spectrum you're on, you get to define success and I'm here to mentor and coach you all along the way. Personally, I think we all need a coach. It's the place where you get to learn how to grow more into yourself, create a fulfilling life, and maximize your contribution to the world. I've been wanting to create this podcast for months. My goal is simple. My aim is to help you, to mentor and coach you, so that you've got the mindset and the tools that you can put into practice to become a thriving coach. I'm so glad you're here and I'm excited. Nope, scratch that. I'm nervous and truthfully, I kind of find this funny. It's like the universe has conspired to create the absolute perfect scenario. And here's why. I'm a coach for coaches. And one of the biggest issues coaches bring to me is this feeling of self-doubt or a lack of confidence. Maybe they feel confused or they feel overwhelmed or just plain stuck. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to start and they sure don't want to look stupid. I spent a ton of time helping coaches overcome self-doubt and fear and push past procrastination and overwhelm in a super real and practical way so that they can create more impact, more money, and more fulfillment for themselves and their clients. So here's me, a confidence coach, and I just shared with you that I'm nervous too. This is the perfect example of what confidence is and how it's created. I know over time I will grow and become more confident, and speaking to you on this podcast is going to get easier and easier. I'm so glad you're here to be part of the journey with me. Now, more than anything, this way, when I'm talking to you like this, you know I'm honest with you, and you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that we're all in this together. Most people, when they see my photo or they see me on video, they say, ah, you look so confident, or you look so calm and cool and collected, and here's me telling you, How I look on the outside has nothing to do with how I feel on the inside. And I think that that's a great lesson. So let me say it again. How you look on the outside has nothing to do with how you feel on the inside. And that's a great piece of news. I've learned to accept that whenever I do something new, just like this podcast, I'm going to feel nervous and expect that you will feel nervous doing new things too. I'm nervous because I want this to be an amazing tool. I want to get to know you. I want to reach through your earbuds and help you take the first or the next step on your journey. And in speaking, as I talk through this, I realize that I'm nervous because this is important to me 
to have an impact and to help you in the best way I can. I want this to be the best use of your time. Maybe you're listening while you're cooking dinner or you're on your commute. And I am so thankful that you're here listening and I'm really grateful for your time. My pattern is that I'll second guess and rework everything over and over. Sometimes I procrastinate, sometimes I spin in indecision until I remember that the only way to confidence is through. It's managing my mind drama, part courage, some small actions, and allowing myself to know that I won't be as good as I can be yet, and to also know that I will get better and better each time. I believe in you, and I believe in coaching. I think the field of coaching is just gaining momentum, and I'm convinced that every person would benefit from having a coach. That's my vision for the future, that we all have coaches, and sometimes more than one. So the more I help you, the more people you will be able to impact, and together we will transform the world. I know it might sound kind of weird, but it's true. This is what we're doing as coaching. We're coaches, we're transforming the world, and helping others to live a way more meaningful life. Everyone wants purpose, fulfillment, money, freedom, and a good life. And coaching is one of the best ways to make this happen. Each episode is going to be one bite-sized piece. You can listen in order or you can hop around. I want you to have something to take away from each and every episode. It might be a powerful question that helps you improve your coaching or a way to learn more about yourself. It could be a practical strategy or maybe even some real talk to help you stay the course when you get discouraged. And I want this to be a conversation, you and I together. I will teach you a framework that I share with my one-on-one -on -one clients, and I want to hear from you. I'd love it if you would take the material that I teach and apply it to yourself. And then tell me how it's going. What works for you? Where do you want some more help? You can pop a comment in the episode notes and I'll be reading every single one and be sure to respond to. Here's what I suggest you do with this podcast and all the episodes to come. Listen to the episode. Find one thing that you will apply. Maybe you'll try a new thought or you'll finally get clear on how you're feeling. You might find out why you're getting stuck or why you procrastinate so that you can get moving. Learn how your thoughts create your success and what to do about it. How to feel inspired or even grab a little bit of courage and create the results you want in your coaching business. So if you're a new coach or you're thinking of becoming a coach and you're worried that because you're feeling nervous or filled with self-doubt that it's going to be hard or it's not going to work, know that I am here rooting for you. Side by side, I know you can make it happen. You can be that successful coach. Now, before I wrap this up, let me tell you this quick little story. When I was taking my coach training, one of the trainers, Sue, told me this personal story and it really stuck with me. I wanted to share it with you too. She was an amazing, masterful coach and she'd coached well over 3,000 hours by the time I met her. And boy, I really looked up to her. She really knew her stuff. She told me that when she was starting out as a brand new coach, she used to hope and pray that her clients would cancel their coaching sessions. Right up until it was time to get on the call, she kept checking her email just in case they would postpone. She kept hoping that they would cancel even at the last minute so her prayers would be answered. Can you imagine? She was scared that she wasn't good enough and she wouldn't be able to help her clients. Maybe she was a little worried that she didn't have enough experience or that she wouldn't know what to say or that she would run out of questions and flounder around and look silly. So, she wished that they would cancel so she didn't have to show up either. 
Her story stuck with me because when I trained with her, she would ask the most powerful questions. Her questions would make me sit up and rethink so much of what I had decided or believed was true and true about me and true about what I could achieve. And no matter what was going on, I always felt deeply heard in her presence. You know how she went from terrified beginner to masterful thriving coach? She showed up and somehow she figured out how to get out of her own way. Then when she messed up, which she most certainly did, she kept showing up over and over. She was dedicated to her clients and committed to her dream of becoming a coach. And eventually she went from terrified, wishing they wouldn't show up with her knees knocking and her voice shaking to an empowered coach. Courage, clarity, confidence are all qualities that you can learn to. They're emotions and all of our feelings come from how we think. Throughout these episodes, I'm going to share my confidence framework. We're going to go through it step by step together. I'm not holding anything back. These are the practical and proven strategies you can use right away. Each episode, I'm going to talk about one topic. I use the KISS principle. That's keep it simple, sweetie, is what KISS stands for. One episode, one topic. And then you take one thing away that you've learned and apply it. Then watch those small steps. They're going to accumulate. And before you know it, you'll be looking back and you're going to be amazed at how far you've come, how good you feel, and the results you've created. Your calendar is going to be filling up, you're going to have clients, your income is going to be going up, and you're going to be feeling so much better. So stick with me. I know that using my blueprint will make it easier, so come along for the ride. So that's it for today. And if you don't have someone who is helping you walk step by step through the process of setting up your coaching business, or you're feeling kind of stuck, please reach out to me and let's have a conversation. You can click on the link in the show notes. And finally, as I said, I have waited months to create this podcast. And anytime I start something new, I make sure to celebrate my growth and celebrate my achievement. Now here's what it means to you as a thank you, a special thank you to my early listeners. I'll be giving away two $50 Amazon.com gift cards to some of my lucky early listeners. All you have to do to enter is leave a review on Apple Podcasts and then email me a screenshot of your entry to info at candymotzek.com. I'll give you that link again. It's info at candy, C-A-N-D-Y, Mozek, M-O-T-Z-E-K, dot com. The link is in the show notes. I'll be doing that draw on Wednesday, September 16th, 2020, and I'm going to do it live on Facebook. So go ahead and click on the show notes to find out more about how you can enter. Thanks again for listening today. Please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, I would love to hear from you. Did something that I say resonate? What else would you like to learn about? Click the link in the player and leave a comment on the post. This is going to give me great ideas for future episodes so I can help you best. Join me again next week for more coaching, support, and teaching to help you become the confident coach you are meant to be.